me. Bill Clinton, Lynch Tarmac meeting, tainted Hillary Clinton probe. Hope someday you'll understand. No, we won't. In the summer of 2016, as Americans struggled to understand the ramifications of Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while she was Secretary of State, FBI Director James Comey faced a different struggle. How to preserve the credibility of the Justice Department and the FBI if Clinton was not charged with a crime. Then came the blow that made him realize that the Justice Department was already irrevocably compromised. No, nope, really? Attorney General Loretta Lynch's meeting with former President Bill Clinton aboard her plane at the Phoenix airport. Comey recounted his story to the Senate Judiciary Committee Wednesday. In his comments, Comey repeatedly said his main concern throughout the FBI investigation into Clinton was the Americans have faith in the justice system. I have spent my whole life caring about the credibility and integrity of the criminal justice process that the American people believe it to be and that it be in fact fair, independent, and honest. And so what I struggle with is in the spring of last year was how do we credibly complete the investigation of Hillary Clinton's emails if we conclude there's no case there, he said. Comey hinted that there was behind-the-scenes maneuvering that he did not elaborate upon Wednesday. No, really? Behind the scenes. The normal way to do it would be to the Department of Justice announce it, and I struggle as we get closer to the end of it with the a number of things had gone on some of which I can't talk about yet that made me worry that the department leadership could not credibly complete the investigation and decline prosecution without grievous damage to the American people's confidence in the justice system, he said. Then came June's furtive Lynch-Clinton meeting and the firestorm of protests that erupted. Despite their claims that they discussed grandchildren, many Americans believe Lynch and Bill Clinton cut a deal for Hillary Clinton. No, really? And then the caper was, and I'm not picking on the, the Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who I like very much, but her meeting with President Clinton on the airplane was the caper for me. And I then said, you know what? The department cannot by itself credibly end this, he said. Comey said at that point, precedent was no longer a guideline, only his own instincts about what constituted fairness. What constituted fairness? Let's see. The chance we have as a justice system is if we I do something I never imagined before. Step away from them and tell the American people, look, here's what the FBI did, here's what we found. Here's what we think, and that, <clears throat> excuse me, that offered us the best chance of the American people believing in the system that it was done in a credible way, he said. Comey said he took the step of holding a July press conference to announce the FBI's findings and its decision, knowing it would be unpopular. That was a hard call for me to make, to call the Attorney General that morning and say I'm about to do a press conference and I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to say. And I said to her, hope someday you'll understand why I think I have to do this. But look, I wasn't loving this. I knew this would be disastrous for me personally, but I thought this is the best way to protect these institutions that we care so much about, he said. Why would he call Loretta Lynch? It's just like calling up a criminal to let them know you're going to testify. I mean, really? Why should she get a call from him? Comey then said he had another impossible choice, land on his desk when Clinton's emails were found on a laptop computer belonging to Anthony Weiner, the husband of Clinton's top aide, Uma Abedin. When the Anthony Weiner thing landed on me on October 27th 
and there was a huge, this is what people forget, new step to be taken, we may be finding the golden missing emails that would change this case, Comey said. Comey said that after announcing the reopening of the email probe, a step Clinton had claimed cost her the election, his agents told him there was nothing of any importance to be found on Wiener's computer. Yeah, right. I said then by God I got to tell Congress, yeah, that there's nothing to be found. I got to tell Congress that and no, I'm going to get a storm at me for that. But what I can promise you all along is I said to people, you may think we're idiots, we're honest people. No, you're not, Comey said. He made judgments trying to do the right thing, and I believe even with hindsight, we made the right decision. Really? Let's take a listen to this. No, he's been totally compromised, and he should be fired. This guy, this guy is uh, compromised in the biggest way possible. The guy's this. face is incredible well, in the background. Disaster. He's saying, is he really saying this? This is the best way to protect these institutions that we care so much about. Unbelievable. Um, let us know what you think in the comments oh, below. And uh, thank you so much for watching. But that guy's face in the background was like totally incredible. Like he, he was like looking at Comey and saying... Am I really hearing what he's saying? <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.